Get in the car if you want the girl to live. You heard her. You feel the best. This is a mistake. We don't make mistakes. <laughs> We're gonna feed you to the piranhas, Sorelli.
damn fools, you're letting him get away. You can leave your drunken brawls for another day, golden boy. Mr. Bourne with a golden spoon in his mouth. The boss wants to see you. What's that? A flower petal. He was carrying a plastic flower petal. Flowers are for funerals Don't be fooled by the cliches Roses can deceive you Tricking you with each bouquet Flowers are for funerals Flowers are for funerals Your father can't be here, young Henry. He's off with Mr. Stanwell and Lord Greystoke looking into business. I've got a lead on what Floyd is up to now. I can't tell you what it is, but trust me, I will track down and avenge the death of Brandy. Now, and Floyd is all that's left. Get him and that's the end of another evil organization. Somewhere, somewhere in this vast city, I will find him. Now, young Henry, you mustn't ever mention Uncle Floyd, not when your father is around. Somewhere, somewhere in this vast city, I will find him. And on that day, I will exact vengeance. Vengeance will be mine. It would serve Henry Wright. Vengeance will be mine. Sorelli here. Henry Sorelli. Yes, of course, Junior. No, I'm not my father. My father's been missing for quite a while now. Fabio Fortuna. That sounds like some type of drink, oh boy. The leader of the ACLU's dead. Look, who is this? Hello? Hello? What is it, love? Oh, it was uh, some chaps on the phone looking for my father. You never talk about your father. Why? It's 
not a lot to say, really. He's been missing for the last few years. And he wasn't really around much when I was growing up. Quite a legendary fellow, though, back in the day. Mm -mm. It's okay. Come back to sleep. I will. In a few minutes. Mm -mm. You worry too much. Oh, you know me. <laughs> I'm always on top of the situation. <laughs> well, we won't go back to sleep now. I can see something big has come up. Oh, I guess it has. <laughs> We report, you decide. <laughs> what hogwash! What humbug those people practice! <sighs> Who are you? How did you get into these rooms? Uh, Mr. Fatuna, uh, your door was open. Yes, yes, yes! My doors are always open to the powerless and the needy. Bringing power to the people, you know! <laughs> yeah, the uh, American Civil Liberties Union. That's an important organization, isn't it? Yes. But just who are you? Oh, I'm just a messenger. I'm nobody. This is uh, from your friends at uh, MSNBC. Oh, nice! There's a note with it. From your friend and fan, the super patriot, Thank you for everything you've done, uh, making this once great country uh, de being destroyed, you piece of crap, liberal, elite bastard. Pardon me, little miss. Aren't you Ms. Monica Freeman, an editor at The Nation, that liberal magazine? Why, yes. How did you know? I get around. I've studied your work for a long time. Where do you get off writing this elitist crap about the uh, gun control? It's every man's Second Amendment right to carry a concealed gun. I have one right here, see? But there's one thing I've got to know. Yes? Are they white? White. Or what white? Well, uh, I noticed your outfit. Red blouse, blue skirt. I'd like to think that your panties are white, because then I would know it was a sign from God that he sent me an all-American love toy. Oh, well, allow me to introduce myself. I'm the red, white, and blue skull. Now, you couldn't possibly mean all of that anti-American crap that you write now, do you? Red, white, and blue freak. Anyway, I... Get away from me. I say get the hell out of here before I start to scream. Oh, was that any way to be? You may not know it yet, but I represent a new political vanguard. With my associate, the Super Patriot, we aim to get America back on track and out of the hands of the commies, the liberals, and the fruits. And once it's back on track, we want to populate it with red-blooded American young guns. You look like a good breeder. You could bear me some healthy children. What do you say? <laughs> Shut up, you little bitch! Quiet! Oh, uh, you've ruined everything. Now I'm gonna practice a little gun control, baby cakes. Fiddlesticks. I lose more potential wives that way.
Good day, sir. And what a glorious day it is. My name is Maurice Green, but you can call me Stinky. Hello, Stinky. Hello. Well, I represent a new publication called Pig Magazine. Pig Magazine? Yes. It's published by the Progressive Independence Group, hence the acronym of PIG. <laughs> and um, I, have, I have a sample publication for you absolutely free. Now, we are asking for signatures on a petition that we're circulating. Signatures? Yes. Um, we are currently lobbying to get our wonderful president to be named Man of the Year in our state for his dedication to health care and other issues. You've got to be kidding me. You're naming that red diaper baby man of the year? Let me tell you something, pig magazine. <laughs> I wouldn't name that man man of the year if it were coming from Pig Vomit magazine. Well, I'm sorry that you feel that way, sir, but don't you support universal health care? I don't. I don't have health care. And I don't like the fact that Americans are being spoon-fed health care like the agenda of Karl Marx or some other Rusky. Let me tell you something. It's every American's God-given right to buy their own health care. It adds character. And uh, the fact that, uh, you know, they don't want to, that's their right. Wow, sir, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that you feel that way. You liberal homos. I think you have an agenda laid out that everybody's going to follow with like some marching band down Fifth Avenue. Let me tell you something. We, buying health care is the capitalist way. It's the American way. It's my way. I, I'm not understanding what, what you're saying. It, it doesn't make sense. Oh, that's so nice of you. I, a token of your apology for your harsh words? Yeah, something like that. <coughs> Puke faced little pinko. <coughs> Liberal homos. <coughs> This is my country. Tis of thee, sweet land. Flowers are for funerals. Don't be fooled by the Roses can deceive you, tricking you with each move. I'm so sorry that I'm late, love. Work was crazy. Don't worry about it. You're here now, and that's what matters. Let's just enjoy the day together. Violets are for violence. I'm through with sentimental dreams Roses are for sweet revenge Nothing's really what it seems Flowers are for funerals Flowers are for funerals, my friend Love can't stab you when heart It's not always a bed of daisies Darting all 
old sniper shots The chases and the battle wounds It's all so crazy Diamonds are for pawn shops Distracting with their shiny glare Chocolates are for suckers Sweetness isn't fair Flowers are for funerals And flowers are for funerals I had a lovely time, but I've got to go get ready for my interview for that new magazine job. A political magazine? Oh, silly, I told you all about it, don't you remember? I found it on Craigslist, remember? And it's on the new American political scene. I do love parties, even political ones. Oh, well, I'll see you later tonight. Okay? Nothing could keep me away from you. B is not pleased with your latest activities, Mr. Sorelli. Can't B speak for himself? He chooses to let me speak for him. First, you fight with two thugs in a speeding car. After crashing it, you let them both get away. Very sloppy. Then you get a call warning you of the death of Fabio Fortuna, director of the American Civil Liberties Union. For some reason, you choose to ignore it. Finally, two more assassinations. One of the editor of The Nation magazine, and the other, the founder of Pig magazine, a Mr. Stinky Green. How did they die? By phosgene gas. Phosgene gas. It causes coughing and instantaneous death, administered through lethal flowers, no doubt. Yes. How did you know that? It was a technique used by the Hoxton Creeper in the Rathbone murder case in 1997. The creeper was never found. Be that as it may, we want you to become familiar with the principles in this case. This man is Dr. Thaddeus Life. This is a photograph of him from 1971. His major crimes are kidnapping, blackmail, and attempted murder of our agent Henry Sorelli, your father. He was shot and presumably killed in 1971 by your father. Although he was presumed dead, no body was ever recovered. Here is a computer simulation of how he might look now. This man is Dr. Homer Death, also seen in a photograph from 1971. He also attempted to kill your father and was also roundly dispatched. But again, no body was ever recovered. Here is how he might look if he was alive today. The third in our trio of villains is Floyd the Faker Filgrave. He was a particularly bad thorn in the side of your father because he had a sexual liaison with your mother, Marie Fortuna. Miss Fortuna betrayed your father. Your father, one of our top agents, shot and presumably killed Faker, but again his body was never recovered. A lot of bodies seem to have gone missing. Yes, including your father's. As you know, he disappeared on a mission some years ago. But we think he might be involved in this case. There's also someone called the Super Patriot. His only known associate is the red, white, and blue skull. We have no dossier on them, nor do we have any photographs to go by. Your job is to stop them before they kill again. That will be all, Mr. Sorelli. And don't cock it up. Godspeed.
Hold it. Nice muskets, gentlemen. I see you're on the cutting edge of weaponry. Dr. Life, Dr. Death, and and Floyd, three of my father's favorite foes. They told me you were killed in New York. Well, well, like father, like son. Only you've lost your hair. It's better than losing my life. Something that might happen quite soon if you aren't careful. Enough banter. Frankly, we're scared, Mr. Sorelli. This super patriot kills for political reasons. He's taking all the fun out of villainy. Now, take Dr. Death here. Sure he kills. But he kills like a good capitalist. For money. Take Dr. Life here. He can be brutal, but never cruel. He's a sensitive killer. Super Patriot, he's taking all the fun out of killing. He has to be stopped. Then what can you gentlemen tell me about this so-called Super Patriot? We only know this. He's placed an ad seeking a graphic designer for a new magazine about the American political scene. And it's that new magazine on the American political scene magazine about the American political scene. I found it on Craigslist. An ad. At New Magazine. New Magazine. At New Magazine. And about the American political scene. On the political scene. Oh my God. Leslie. Leslie, listen to me very carefully. I need you not to go to that interview today. I can't explain now, but I think you could be in danger. Please, call me as soon as you get this. Are you Miss Leslie Parker, the young lady who answered my advertisement? Yes, I was beginning to think that you wouldn't come. We were supposed to meet at 2 o'clock, and it's 2.13 now. Ooh, poo poo. Let me tell you my philosophy on such matters. I believe in the man, not the woman, being fashionably late. I think that uh, the women's libbers are going to pay heavily and dearly for their rhetoric. That's a novel outlook, but frankly, I believe in both parties being on time for social engagements. Mm -hmm. 
Listen, if you and I are going to have a relationship, there are a few things that we need to get straight. A relationship? Wait a minute, when I answered your Craigslist ad, I was under the impression that you were looking for a graphic designer for a new magazine on the American political scene. That's true. That is indeed true, but that was before I met you. You are one hot little bitch. It's red hot. And I think you and I would make a good couple together. Is this a joke? Because I don't think it's funny. There are laws against sexual harassment these days, you know. Sexual harassment? Hee-haw! A term that was coined by Kami Pinko lawyers. Let me tell you something, little Miss Susie Cream Cheese. The women's libbers who destroyed this country, America was fine before the women's lib movement and women got their civil rights, but that's over. Betty Friedan is dead, Gloria Steinem is married, and Helen Unready hasn't had a hit in 30 years. I'm a man, and I'm the stronger sex, and I guarantee you, I'm strong in a few uh, other places if you get my drift. So, I think you better bear down and prepare for a very healthy sexual relationship. I think that you are mentally disturbed and I'm leaving right now. Wait. Wait, sit down. I'll tell you about the job. I'm opening a magazine that is all about what is wrong with America. The Democrats, the commies, and the liberals are taking this country down the long, grave road into hell. For your information, I'm a Democrat with liberal beliefs. Please let me go. I think this has been a big mistake. A Democrat with liberal beliefs? Well, I'm afraid, little Miss Susie Cream Cheese, you've sealed your fate. What a shame. I think you and I would have made a very rewarding couple. Ha ha ha!
Billy's dead Cuddling is You know, Henry, sometimes I feel like screaming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel like screaming, too. I was stuck across town and a girl died. Sometimes I feel like screaming, too. Just another dead end. I was on a bus last week and there was a screaming baby and people were actually getting annoyed. A crowded bus and a screaming baby, no one helped. There was nothing the mother can do. The baby was screaming and people were upset about it. I saw a picture in your home of a beautiful woman. Who is she? She's my wife. Oh, your wife? Henry, you live in a sewer. You do dangerous things all the time. You risk your life. Doesn't that bother your wife? No, it doesn't bother at all. She's dead. I'm so sorry. It's all right. She was driving and a drunk driver just crossed the center line. It's really... It didn't make any sense at all. Just one of those things, really. Did she know that you were a detective? No. It's not the kind of thing that's safe for anyone to really know about what I do. Well, I know what you do. Oh, you do now? Yeah, I do. Because I do exactly the same thing. B sent me. You know B? Yeah, I know B. And he sent me to help you do whatever you needed me to do. Whatever I need? Well, I do love the outdoors. So what's so special about this place? This is the apartment that I chased the red, white, and blue skull into. The apartment's completely empty except for one thing. There's a picture here on the wall. Well, what's that supposed to mean? You tell me. Uh, apparently there's some kind of safe house that the red, white, and blue skull thought he would be safe in. Well, maybe he wanted you to find it. Well, maybe I'll just ask him when I find him. Well, as I live and breathe, if it isn't Mr. Henry Sorelli and a new lady friend. Hello, Holly. Holly, this is Tara. Tara, this is... Holly Graham. Quite real, I see. To what do I owe this pleasure? You've been up to your old tricks again, Holly? Whatever do you mean, Mr. Sorelli? The only trick I know is the one you played on me in Istanbul. All in the line of duty, my dear. You know, your hair is really quite beautiful. It's very much like a silkworm's handiwork. Speaking of hands, Yes, that feels nice. You know, Harvard girls just taste different. Better? No, just different. Well, maybe it's about time I give you the benefits of a Harvard education. What do you say we get rid of your little friend over there? Don't mind me. Rear Window is my favorite thriller. What is it? Quiet.
are you? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, I'll know. Let him go, Henry. I don't want to have to kill you, but I wouldn't mind toasting little Miss Tara here. Right back at you, babe. Well, well. Call me paranoid, but I think our shadowy friend is a pal of yours. It's not what you think. We work for- Don't tell him anything, fool. We can't trust- I call the shots. Sorelli Senior calls the shots. If you want the answers to your questions, go to Riverside Manor. I call the shots. Hmm. <laughs> Your father can't be here, young Henry. He's off with Mr. Stanwell and Lord Greystoke looking into business. I've got a lead on what Floyd is up to now. I can't tell you what it is, but trust me, somewhere in this vast city, I will find him. Mom. Your father can't be here, young Henry. He's off with Mr. Stanwell and Lord Greystoke looking into business. Why is Uncle Floyd hitting Daddy? Now, young Henry, you mustn't ever mention Uncle Floyd, not when your father is around. Why? It's not a good idea. It probably will upset him quite a bit. Let's just talk about someone else. I nursed you back to health. Don't expect me to ever betray Henry again. He took me back because of the boy, but he'll go if he ever finds out I helped you again. You'll do as I say, or Antoine will say it with flowers. Oh, not Antoine, the Hoxton Creeper. Oh, he doesn't like that name. He's French, but he doesn't like to admit it. He prefers to be called- Mommy. Uncle Floyd and Mommy? Oh, young Henry, heard that! Well, well, like father, like son. Uncle Floyd and Mommy? The sins of the father, you might say. Anton and the Faker. Reason it out. The Super Patriot and the Faker. What's on this card in the flowers? You're always knocking on closed doors. That's it. Hold it. How does it feel, Mr. Cerulli? Oedipus married his mom. You killed yours. Take it easy, Bert. There's no need to get personal. 
Why not? You're the one with the golden spoon in his mouth. Henry Sorelli Jr. Nothing too good for him. I think I'll be keeping this. I'll add it to my collection. You won't be needing this anymore, will you, old boy? It's gotta be here somewhere. I know I am. Aha! At last. Hello, Sloyd. Yes, I found what we need. The Super Patriot is not who he says he is. No, he's really... Wait a minute, I thought I heard a noise. Who's there? I've got a gun. Come out. are all alike. You think a piece of paper defines someone. Take your hero, Barack Hussein Obama. He has produced a piece of paper purportedly to be his birth certificate, but has anyone here seen the birth certificate? Has anyone here seen the birth certificate? He has produced a certificate of live birth, but no one has seen the birth certificate. You must be joking. Do you really think that someone would have had the foresight to plant birth announcements in two separate papers 49 years ago? Who are you kidding? A certificate of live birth can be produced for anyone born outside the United States, but it is not proof of citizenship. If Obama was born outside the U.S. or not born on a U.S. military base, then he is an illegal U.S. president. Did you know that if anyone goes to that little building in Hawaii and requests to see the birth certificate housed within, they are immediately, promptly, and hurriedly escorted from the building. For your information, he did release his birth certificate in April 2011. I'll put my gun down if you put your gun down. All right, I'll put my gun down. Let's be friends. Here. An esteemed token of my friendship. Flowers, for me. Why, how nice. I didn't, wait, wait a minute. That's not. <coughs>
we had some honey. They say honey bees are not sufficient proof of God, but hornets and wasps are definitely proof of the devil. Ah, oh, yes, Floyd. There was a time we ate strictly top of the line. Steaks, lobster, $500 bottles of wine, and new vials for dessert. I hate to ruin a good meal. But, I must broach the subject for which I have summoned you. Uh, you're referring to the problem posed by this super idiot, is it? Super Patriot's what he's calling himself. Though I think that other name may be more appropriate. I don't know what your politics are, Death, but aside from desire for moral domination. But this fellow is clearly Mad as a hatter, behaving that way with guns, killing anyone who disagrees with his politics. In our day, we killed with a purpose. Indeed. Me, I subscribe to no political party, although I do like the nihilist party. Ah, this fellow is clearly way out of line. <sighs> Quite so, I've come to abhor killing. But I think the time has come for one of us to see that this fellow is dispatched with. Would you like to do that now? It saddens me that you both feel I am a menace. I've studied your respective careers. I admire you both. I was going to enlist you. But Floyd... I checked the voting records. You voted Democratic in the last two elections. And death. You have a distant relative who is a high-ranking red in the American Communist Party. Communist red runs in families. It pains me to do this. Put your gun down or I'll kill Floyd. What's the point of killing me? I'm an easily replaceable part. <laughs> Two guns, but only one brain. Ha, ha, ha. 
to get anywhere with this if you continue on this path. Are you listening, Mr. Sarelli? Sorry, B, my mind was on other things. Like the murder of Marie Fortuna? What is he doing here? Mr. Calvin is working for me. I don't like you mishandling my men. I don't like people who kill their mothers. Oh, really? And I do? You had all the favoritism growing up as the son of Henry Sorelli, super spy. You're the one with a golden spoon in his mouth. I don't like teaching your stooge how to fight. Ah. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let us work together. We have word that the super patriot is planning an attack at the new progressive movement party convention tomorrow. All the world major liberals will be there, and he sees it as an opportunity to do away with the progressive movement once and for all. You have till noon tomorrow to find him and stop him. That's not much time, sir. No, it isn't. But I'm certain you can handle it. I'll do my best, sir. See that you do. If you want the answers to your questions, go to Riverside Manor. Lovely to see you, old boy. I see you've decided to come in from the cold. It was getting a bit frosty out there, but I knew I'd get a warm welcome in here. I always have. Let me get you a glass of something. I have a lovely port from the south of Spain. Spare me the pleasantry, you see. This is not a social call. Always the serious one. I told you it would get you into trouble one day. I heard a story that you were missing. But I knew that you had gone rogue. You would know, my dear fellow. You're the reason I went rogue. Me? Yes, you see, I'd long suspected there was a mole in our organization. And you fit the bill. Really, old boy, you should have a glass of something. You're positively loopy. Would you like some Amontillado? Yes, as a matter of fact. I'll join you in a glass before I spat you. No, the clues were all there. You joined our firm because you were in love with Maria Fortuna. And you thought she would be impressed by a spy. But she was impressed with me. Although you and I were in the same training program, she only had eyes for me. What nonsense. Really? Then how do you explain your recruiting her as a double agent? And she spying on Floyd and then seeming to betray me. You knew that I would be crushed by her betrayal. 
that it would be the perfect revenge against me. Floyd was your man from the beginning. How expository of you. When I forgave Marie, forgave her, married her, had a child with her, you developed a mania against progressives like me, liberal enough to move on. I even forgave Marie for nursing Floyd back to health after my execution of him. That's a very well thought out argument, but you have no proof. I went undercover to get that proof. Dr. Life and Dr. Delph helped me get the evidence we needed. They're both dead. Yes, they are. But how did you know? I must have had a report. No one has reported it. We kept it under wraps. How very careless of me, Mr. Sorelli. Quite. I can't let you live, of course. Indeed. You're right. I am the mole in the new organization. I started right after the war. Which war? Take your pick. There's always one going on someplace. First I worked for the Russians. Then the Swedish. Finally the Czechoslovakians. It was all going very well for me until one of the operatives was going to blackmail me. So I threw him out of a 30-story window. And that's when you found out that a good Czech wouldn't bounce. I'm not laughing. No one is. I seem to have underestimated you and your son. Yes, I worked undercover out of Riverside Manor. Holly Graham, that delightful spy, was my contact with the outside world. She worked with a thug who was ready to betray us. That's why he attacked my son and she thought it better to kill him. And that delightful safe house that you sent the red, white, and blue skull to, decorated with a poster from 1971. 1971, the year I met Marie. Very clever. So clever. But you're the one who's about to die. You and the entire Progressive Conference, which will explode in just half an hour. <laughs> you were right. I'm out for revenge. You're out of your mind. If I was out of my mind, I'd be having red wine with my fish. We're going to play Russian Roulette. You need a revolver for that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Your cheap joke may have thwarted me, but the Progressive Conference is doomed. Not if my son has anything to do with it. You see, we reconnected. That is, I struck him. And then I brought him up to speed. He figured out most of it anyway. And now, he'll be on the scene in minutes. If I have any talent, if I have any skill, it is this, I do not give up. Don't ever give up. I'm an order body. Sorry, we don't do that. My biggest fear now is that you'll never know how eternally grateful I am for you saving my life. I tried to look up the words to express how I feel. And all I felt in my silence was anger. Mr. Sorelli Sr. and his boy, Junior Sorelli, are enablers. They are the sworn enemy of us and this great nation. And we tonight will destroy them and obliterate their kind. So you will stand guard over this bomb. The bomb which is planted here in the basement is timed to precisely detonate at 12 o'clock and will decimate all the little leftists that scurry above us in the conference hall. He's on the premises, split up, find him, split up, find him. It's all clear, guys. Nothing's going on. Wait. Uh. 
What's going on? Wait, where is Charlie? Oh! Charlie, where are you? Charlie, 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 speak to me! Ah! He's everywhere! He's everywhere! He's taking us out one by one, man! I think I'm the last one left. No, 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 no! Charlie, Fred, over. Anyone? I don't think they can hear you, friend. Who are you and what are you doing underneath the Progressive Conference? Would you like to know, hippie? I tell you what I do know. I know that I've dealt with your friends and that you work for the Super Patriot. I know that you're trying to protect a bomb. I just want to know where it is and if you're the last guard left. Cut up one head and a thousand more will appear. You're going to be a dead end. And I'm not a hippie. Amanda, Amanda, what are you hey, doing? Henry. Amanda, look, this isn't a good time for me right now. Look, I don't know why you're here. Henry, dangerous situation. Right I now. don't care about you right now, okay? You never gave me closure. I need some closure. Look, you are my favorite old girlfriend. You should, you could have been the one. This is a bad time. I'm about to go uh, uh, do dangerous uh, things. Uh, you could get hurt. Ah, uh, it's okay. You Just, always do dangerous things, but listen, listen. No, okay, really? no, shh, shh, You're not gonna leave no, unless shh. I let exactly. you talk. Shh. Okay. okay, because I have things that I've been wanting to say. Okay. I've been holding them in for okay. so long, and you know what I need in this stupid relationship? I need some closure. And so right. I just need to talk for a minute. Henry has to go catch a bad guy. That's you know? fine. That, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Henry, you go catch the bad guy. Okay. That, that's right. fine. Great. Okay? But right now, I need to talk. Okay? Because I never got to say the You're things that I... You're not going to leave unless... Uh, uh, you know what? Fine. I never got to say the things that I needed to say, and okay. I need to say them right now. Okay? Fair, fair enough. Because I loved you so much, and I spent mm. all my time for you, and I and I cooked for you, and I cleaned Thank for you, you and, I, and I went to school to get a degree so that we could raise a, a nice family, and then you just go and leave, and you don't even talk to me. The it, job is hard. It's, you know... But we had a plan, Henry. Henry, we had a beautiful plan. You know what? I, my, my bad. That's on me. Yeah, I was bad. But maybe we could have dinner later on tonight. Give me about 45 minutes, you know? Gotta wrap a few things up here. Then we'll just sort of catch up, you know? Hmm. I'll meet you at the Barcodi's, that little Italian place that you like so much. That'd be nice, right? Yeah, that, that does sound nice. Oh, this is dangerous. No, we don't have time. Yes. No, we don't have time yes. for this. No. No, no, we don't. Um, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is pretty. This yeah. is different. You know? uh, I've been oh. reading it in the books, no. Henry. No, I would really you wanted like... me to try new things, Henry, didn't you? Where did you get so strong? <laughs> where did, where did, where did you Maybe get... it's because I'm a cybernetic <laughs> robot. <laughs> <laughs> You liquidated her, Dad. I never thought she was good for you. I wish actually to emphasize silence. And in this silence, to emphasize that we breathe in deep.
got to protect me, Henry. Life and death are dead. I mean, the super patriot has killed Dr. Life and Dr. Death. Don't act so surprised, my dear Floyd. You didn't lift a finger to help either of them. You were on the phone with Dr. Life when the super patriot attacked him, but you did nothing to intervene. You were in the room when the super patriot attacked Dr. Death, but you didn't lift a finger to help him. You wanted Dr. Life and Dr. Death out of the way because they were competing with your own criminal organization. And you had the Super Patriot do your dirty work for you. You don't understand. Things were supposed to be different. You mean different? As in not having your own son, the Super Patriot, try to kill you? How did you find out? That the Super Patriot is your son. Or, like most right-wingers, that he's a hypocrite. He accuses Obama of being foreign-born. Yet he was born in France, by the name of Antoine Faker, the son of Floyd Faker and Anna Marie Fortuna. Or that the super patriot is actually my half-brother? Or that the crime of matricide, which he tried to pin on me, is actually his crime? Or maybe that he killed his mother, and now he plans to kill you, Floyd, his father. What made you suspect? It was a phrase you're always knocking on closed doors. It's something my mother used to say to me when I was a small child. It basically meant that I was going into a dangerous place, but it was a place that I needed to explore. When I found that line on a card near my mother's dead body, I knew that it was her way of giving me a message. She was telling me that the closed door was a super patriot's parentage. He is my French-born half-brother, also known as the Hoxton Creeper. He even phoned me to let me know that there was a planned murder assassination for Fabio Fortuna. This was all designed to just bring me into the case. Henry, I'm in here! What the devil? They've chained me to a bomb! Mom, you're alive! Don't touch her. Now, wait a minute. Let Don't just touch find her. Out. Let me just find out what's going on. She's not your mother. My son, you're always knocking on closed doors. No, don't touch her. She's not your mother. Henry, you know better, honey. We talked about this. You're always in the wrong place. Still think you have all the answers, gentlemen? How do you beat your mother, Mr. Cirilli? Or your wife, Mr. Cirilli Sr.? <laughs> what? Jesus, this whole place is robot town. Yes. Made from your mother's memory engrams. Except this perfect duplicate is programmed to kill. And so, Mr. Cirilli, watch as your wife kills your son and the bomb ticks away. Dinner is served, gentlemen, and the entree is death. They've chained me to a bomb. And so the bomb ticks away. Tick, tick, tick. Oh, wait a minute. It's my bomb. Tick, tick, tick. And then we all go to hell together. Tick, 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 tick. This is terrible. I don't want to die. Memory engrams. Son, the robot has your mother's memories. Reason it out. This is terrible. I don't want to die. I know you know who I am. It's me, young Henry. Marie, it's me, Henry. Remember the park, the Jake Rock incident? Yes, the Jake Rock incident. Yeah, you were swell. It was great. Henry, I always loved you. And you, 
You were the good one. You were the bad one. Stop! There's too many locks on it. It's encased in iron. I won't have time to get Emma out of here now. Look, Dad, there's just too many wires. I've seen this before. Get out of here. I don't think that we're going to make this one. There's just too many variables. I don't know which one to pick. You found an off switch? Simple pleasures are the last refuge of the complex. always been a thorn in my side, Henry. Now is the time to bring this farce to an end. You wouldn't shoot an unarmed man. You wouldn't shoot an unarmed man, would you, Henry? I've seen your face before, in my dreams. Marvelous this time of year. Barbados is beautiful. The last time you were on a cruise, Dad, I believe there was an explosion involved, if I remember the file. Yeah. Hope you don't feel bad missing all the action. 
There were bombs. I killed a lot of people. There were robots, robots involved. Robots. <laughs> we didn't know if she was a robot. I, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> really. You're a very gifted man. Dad saved my life. And you saved the day. Oh, you know. The main thing is that everybody's back together and Dad's back in town. I'm impressed, son. Where did you pick up these girls? They aren't called girls anymore, Dad. They're women. And I got them from the agency spy pool. They're spies, like us. Not exactly like us, I trust. Show it. Flowers are for funerals Lilacs withered, lilies dead Cuddling is for the weak Sleep next to a gun instead Henry Sorelli Sr. I've waited 37 years for this. Flowers are for funerals Don't be fooled by the cliches Roses can deceive you Tricking you with each bouquet Flowers are for funerals Flowers are for funerals Flowers are for funerals, baby. Diamonds are for pawn shops. Flowers are for funerals, baby. Flowers are for funerals, baby. Flowers are for funerals, baby. My name is Henry Sorelli, and I'm back. Flowers are for funerals. Flowers are for funerals. Flowers are for funerals.